guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. This week's flying by already, don't know where it's going. Um, so you've got me for another two days, I'm gonna be showing you some beautiful earring connectors today. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna be using these uh, gorgeous connectors and adding on some of our pearls. I'm just gonna show you how to attach a lot of beads onto them, use them as earrings. You can see they're gonna make a beautiful feature. You can also use them on your necklaces. We've got some amazing bundle deals over on the website. I'm gonna show you in a minute on the iPad. Um, but we've got some lovely little storage boxes uh, that Kitty and I filled. We hand-picked the selection that are going in there um, and we filled it with loads of connectors so that you'll get the most out of some of our charm ranges. Um, good morning, Helen. Hi, Margaret, Brenda, Lynn, Maxine, Karen. Good morning to you all. Um, I don't know what's happened to the nice weather. It's a bit dreary here, actually. Um, but hopefully um, you're all staying safe and, and you're home and well. Um, hi, Marcia. Hi, Paula. Betty, good morning to you all. Okay, so if anyone's got any questions, I'm going to be turning loops today. Um, so I'm going to be using head and eye pins. Um, I'm going to be turning uh, some um, just normal loops. I'm also going to show you some wrapped loops. And I'm also going to show you how to make your own eye pins out of leftovers as well. So if you've got any questions about any of these, then let me know and I will try to address them and go over them. Uh, in the video. Um, Doris says, good morning, Smiler. Good morning, Doris. Uh, Camille says, morning, Sarah. Did you enjoy being spoilt by your folks? Do you know what? I've absolutely loved it. I've had a roast dinner. I had toad in the hole for dinner last night. I haven't had to cook a thing. Um, I did tidy up a couple of mum's kitchen cupboards for her yesterday just to repay and say thanks. Um, but it has been very nice seeing them and, and, um, and uh, obviously catching up with them, which has been lovely. And mum does spoil me. Um, hi, uh, Betty. Great earrings. I wear earrings more than anything apart from clothes. That is good to know, Betty. <laughs> but even still, it doesn't matter if you've got accessories on. Okay, so yes, this is what we're going to be making. I'm going to show you some of the accessories. Let's turn you down and we'll have a little look. All dull and breezy in Aberdeenshire. <laughs> Uh, Sheila says, morning, Sarah. My lamp work earrings have just come. Yay. Um, I hope you absolutely love them, Margaret. They were super popular. So well done getting your hands on some. Okay, so these are the connectors that we're going to be using. There is a whole range of them. I've actually picked some of the ones here for earrings. You'll get pairs as well. So you can start mixing and matching these up. I'm going to show you how to do some wrapped loops today. Perfect for earrings, but we also have some larger ones. That are ideal for um, necklaces as well. I'm just going to try and get my hands on. Hold on one sec. Um, for example, we have uh, lots of connectors like these. Now, they would be great to thread through either if you're doing maybe even some of your twisted macrame from the other day. That would be great. Um, whether you've got some of your herringbone, you could even thread that onto there or simply just onto a piece of cord. And you've got these connectors down at the bottom. They're all beautifully decorative. Um, here is what we have on offer for you today. Now, I'm going to be using some of our pearls, which we have had on offer before. We have a 40 string bundle from 50 50 down to 34. Uh, from 40 down to 29, so that's the difference in the sizes of your uh, beads. These are the connectors. Um, so as you can see, they're going to come... Um all in a little selection for you. Um, we've got uh, earrings, there's necklaces, larger ones for earrings as well, all in there, which is really handy. Uh, the bundle contains 11 different multi-connectors and I'll take you through each of those in a minute from 13.50 down to 9.99. So if you just want to add that little bit of flair into your jewellery, we've also got crystals in there, your ear wires and head and eye pins to match. Okay, so everything you need is in that category today so I am going to oh Sean says does anyone do anklets um now I actually wear an anklet I I um mine's a birthday gift um so I've had it on my ankle now for um three or four years I think and I actually don't ever take it off it would be exactly the same as making a bracelet um but I would normally if you were going to make them make sure that they are super secure because things like putting um your trousers on and off socks shoes things like that um your ankles do actually um 
it, your anklet is going to get a lot of strain put on it um, and also when you're walking make sure there's an extender chain on it because you want it to be high enough up your ankle or up the recipient's ankle um, that it doesn't keep on bending as they move um, so you just want to if you are going to make them make them super secure okay so I am going to start off with one of these today um, your bundles let me know if you want me to take uh, take you through a few more of the bits and pieces that you get in there I've got most of the ears Earring ones here um, and then these are the larger ones for your necklaces so even jump ring up into a piece of cord or knotted straight on you've got lovely little connectors uh, loops down at the bottom decorative features you've also got a circular one of those as well um, lots and lots of different makes okay let's get into turning pins and loops okay so there are two different pins that I'm going to use today a head and an eye pin your head pin has your nail tip finish, that is your flush finish, so um, your droplets of the earrings, the base beads, um, charms, pendants, anything like that, you want that flush finish down on the very bottom of your beads, that's your head pin. Your eye pin will make your bead connectable at both ends, so um, if you want to do a row of beads, you can see here the loops through the middle are going to connect these beads together. Um, so that is going to give you a connectable component. So what we want to do is actually replicate the loop that you have on an eye pin uh, when you are turning any of your loops and any of your pins, whether it be a head or eye pin. So I'm just going to pop the round nose pliers onto that eye and you will see the depth of the plier that will give me that complete loop so I'm pushing that on as far as it will go you can then take a pen and mark that that will give you the depth of the plier to use uh, to create the same size loop and that's going to give you that continuity throughout your make now <clears throat> to show you that even with the smallest of beads turning your pins doesn't have to be difficult I'm going to use one of my three mil pearls here, teeny tiny. So there isn't enough here for me to hold to bend the pin. These pins are quite strong. So what I'm going to do is make sure that when I grab this with my flat nose pliers, I'm going to bend this to 90 degrees and I'm going to bend it away from me. So I am bending the pin in the same direction that the loop is coming from. Um, so I'm just going to leave a slight gap, and I mean probably about a millimetre from the bead. And then I'm just going to take my pliers and bend that to 90 degrees, okay? The reason we bend it to 90 degrees is so that when I now roll this loop and pin, it's going to roll back on top of the bead. So bending it to 90 degrees is really important. But I don't have the strength in my hands, and these beads are quite small. So I can't actually hold on to it, so I've done that with my pliers. And then I'm going to cut and leave about a centimetre. Now you can measure it if you so wish uh, to begin with. Let me just grab my ruler. Um, you can measure it to begin with if you wish until you get used to it. Uh, but once you are then comfortable and you know what you're doing and you're happy to do it by eye, I would say that that's about my centimetre, a little bit less. So I'll go a little bit more like so and leave these extra shards. So make sure you grab hold of those. They will fly across your room and up into your eyes if you're not careful. So just like you saw me do, secure it with your finger and keep hold of that extra little bit. I'm gonna show you how to make an eye pin out of these in a moment. And then I'm going to uh, hold this bead in my hand. Now, if I was using a head pin, I'd use it as a stopper at the end and hold it like so. I'm just going to pinch this together. And with my pin facing up to the ceiling, now I like to roll away from me. If you want to roll towards yourself, then just turn it around so that you're going to be rolling back up on top of that bead. It's entirely up to you. There is no right or wrong. To that marker point on your plier, and then I'm just going to hold the bead in place and small little rotations of my wrist. So I'm going to let go. Turn my plier back flat, keep, keeping it on that marker that you made with your um, pin. And can you see that it's starting to make a perfect size loop? Now you want to make sure that the two of them meet at the base and touch in the middle, like so. Now because this is so small, it has ever so slightly rotated round. So I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to move it so that now I've got both of my pins, or my loops I should say, facing in the same direction and they are also the same size so that is going to give you continuity and beautiful professional finish in your work 
Now, Kitty has... Oh, Lorna, I was about to say about this. Kitty has a top tip. If you take a 10 millimeter bead, when you add on... Let me add on one of my bigger pearls. Um, I don't actually have a 10 mil bead to hand. What were you using yesterday? We were you using eights. Uh, I don't have one. But if you bend your pin to 90 degrees, so this is onto my head pin now, bend your pin to 90 degrees and add on a 10 millimeter bead, that is going to give you a perfect centimeter. Cut next to that bead and then remove it and that will give you your exact um, sizing. So with my head pin here, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Cut and leave a centimeter. And then this one's a little bit easier to hold. It's a larger bead and I've got that pin on the bottom. Uh, up to the ceiling, down to the marker on my pliers and just small little rotations. Small movements are going to give you more control over the pin and it's going to give you a perfect loop every time because all you're doing is moulding the wire around your pliers. They are perfectly round. Okay, so then I'm going to start connecting them onto uh, my little ear wire here to match the one that I've got. So if I were to put my larger pearls all the way along the bottom here, there's not actually enough space for them all to sit. So I'm going to stagger them ever so slightly. So my head pins are going to be the bases. Uh, my eye pins, I'm going to need to add on um, eye pins onto some of my smaller beads to make these little connectors. Um, I think we'll go for another large one in here. Once I've made this connector, so I've made my earrings, I'm going to show you how to do a wrapped loop as well because on things like these um, if you're going to have like a lot of movement sometimes wrapped loops are really nice to do as well so if you're gifting and selling things like your earrings then um, wrapped loops just also give it that little bit more of a um, professional finish. So it's just kind of giving you that extra handmade finish. So even though it's just a little pair of earrings, you can tell that they've been handmade and you can tell that they've got that lovely finish to them. Okay, so again, just straightening up those loops. I'm going to go for a larger one. So I'm going to stagger a large pearl and a small pearl up at the top. Uh, let's take another small one and that will be a connector loop. So that will add on to an eye pin. So you'll know... Eye pins are the connectors. Head pins are like your full stops, basically. Um, Sue says, put the bead on and then cut. Oh, hello, Kelly. Someone's been out for a walk with Granny. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, put the bead on, cut, then bend otherwise. Otherwise, you'll get longer than one centimetre. Put the bead on and then cut. Oh, I see. But you need one centimetre for your loop. So I would actually suggest bending it first and then adding the bead on um, because when you uh, bend it, it's actually going to use up some of that as well, especially if you're using your pliers like this because can you see I'm leaving a gap? Because I'm using my pliers, because my pins are too strong for me to do by hand, this little bit here is um, an additional length. So if your pins are harder to turn, then I would recommend uh, turning it first and then putting it on and cutting. Um, Leanne says, I'm making, in making loops, make small movements for total control. That's it. The smaller the movement, the more control you're going to have. Plus, remember, your pins are um, made from wire. So if you overwork, the more you work your wire, the more you kind of have to undo and redo, uh, you are going to end up kinking and uh, weakening your pins. So make sure that... Um, if you are doing smaller movements, you'll get more control. It means you can rectify and correct any problems that you might have. Okay, so let's do these ones. I'm going to add one more smaller one onto an eye pin for into the center. So you can see, you can lay out little things like this. I don't bother connecting them all um, you know, as I'm making them, I will uh, loop them all together, lay them out, lay the design, have a little play around with it. And then you can actually see what components you need, how they're going to hang, how they're going to sit. And then I will connect all of these together in one movement. Um, Sharon says, morning, you make, you re you really make things so easy. Oh, thank you so much, lovely. That is what I'm here for. Um, it's really just to break down some of your fears as well and anything that, um, 
anything that you might be struggling with. It just makes it so much easier when you see somebody do it as well. So all I'm doing here is just slightly correcting this loop, making sure that they are going to touch in the middle. Pop that one on there. Let's do um, one more large one. I'd actually already prepped these one. Large one on the end and large one down at the bottom. So your full stops, they are your head pins. Your eye pins make the beads connectable at both ends. By learning this and being able to turn lovely little loops, you can now make any charms. You can even, if you're doing it all on eye pins, you can connect, connect them all and make your own chain. So many different things. And this is going to allow you to decorate and embellish your connectors like we have here. Oh, over twisted that one slightly. Okay, so connecting them together. Now I've made those lovely loops, we have to open them up. So I'm going to use um, my flat nose pliers just to open them up. So I'm going to take the open side of my link, twist it open. I'm going to connect that on. So I'm actually going to do it so that the connector uh, connection will be at the back. So you'll see I'm looping from the decorative side. A lot of the connectors have a front and back. So looping through and again, just making sure your pins face the same direction will give you a really nice finish too. Taking my flat nose pliers and then twisting that down and I can feel both of those ends rub together. That's going to give me a secure closed connection and we can start to embellish them. So up at the top, I'm going to open up this link here, decorative side first, which will mean my open section of my pin is at the back and closing it over. And I'm twisting it down, but I'm also slightly pushing into my hand just to ensure that I have a complete closed connection. So twisting open, connecting to the one before. So this was my eye pin. That is the um, pre-made uh, pre loop up on the top. So I'm going to link that one in. This one here now is my, my uh, is it my larger one? Oh no, look, I've put an eye pin one on there. I want a head pin. Hold on one sec. Let's take this little naughty one off. You confused me. Easily done. I want one with a pe uh, head pin. Open that up, linking it on and then twisting it shut. So by adding eye pins in between your beads, it's going to give you even more movement, even more decoration. Uh, we'll go for the longer section in the middle, which is what I needed my larger one for. So we'll start off with the large one. Again, opening up that loop. This one's already open from a moment ago. In fact, I'm gonna twist it around the other way. So I always open uh, with my uh, dominant hand and I'll open right side up. That makes it easier for me connecting things on because it means that my open area is visible and I can use it to connect on. If um, you are left-handed, then turn it around in the opposite direction and do left hand up. And that will make it really nice and simple and quick and easy to connect on. Head pin for down at the base. Looping it on, like so. And you can see how this is really coming together. We're gonna to get beautiful movement out of this. Uh, we'll do our little link on this one. I'm just gonna link these together whilst we're here because it's getting a little bit full in there now. So I'll connect that one on first of all. And then all we've got is the top one to do onto the connector on the earring. Again, decorative side first which will mean all of my connections are at the back. And that means that um, if you did bigger loops, you could do a wire version of yesterday's money chain. Oh, I wonder if you could. Mm, I'm not sure how you would link in the wire together. Unless you were just gonna mold it around together. Oh, Lorna, look at you getting on the on the design again, looking at things in such different ways. I love it. Okay, so connecting these onto our ear wires, I've actually already got these open. And again, I want to make sure that the decorative side is going to be, once you put this in your ear, because this is for a pierced ear, your fish hook is going to go into your ear, the decorative side is at the front. Just make sure you remember that when you're connecting them on to each other. And then just closing that over and the same one here, opening it up, 
linking it through, so decorative side facing forwards. And I've got a pair of earrings. Now, obviously, I'd already made one, but within sort of 20 minutes or so, you can have um, a really fantastic pair of earrings. So it's super, super simple. Um, but these are so popular as well. These are the kind of things that you see in all the department stores and clothes shops, you know, on the little cards. They would be sort of, what, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds each. You're making them um, in exactly the colours and the shapes that you want. Now... The connector in this one, the loops were really close together, so I couldn't use my larger pearls. I had to intersperse the smaller ones in between so that they would sit nice and neatly up at the top. With this one, this is a really nice little oval shape. I love the decoration on this one. My loops down at the bottom aren't as close together. I've got a gap. So it means I can have my larger pearls all sitting really beautifully at the bottom. Now you could multi-tier these. You could add different beads on. I'm just going to show you how to do a wrapped loop. In fact, so that it keeps, shall we do, shall we do two? No, I'm just going to do one. Let's keep it for the wrap loops. Okay, um, right, before I jump onto wrap loops, the extra bits that we cut off from our eye pins and uh, um, our head pins, these are all the extra little sections, and I have pots and pots and pots of these at home. Um, these are all the sections that you cut off. You can make extra eye pins out of them. So take your round nose pliers. We're gonna mold a pin, mold a loop, just like we did ordinarily, but can you see that it's now more like a P rather than an I? So my, my um, shop bought I, is up on top, this one I've just made is on the edge. So I'm just gonna take my round nose pliers, put that into the loop, and just bend that main body of the pin backwards. Now, I've got my shop-bought eye and my new handmade eye pin, both of which are now long enough that I could still add more beads onto here and keep on using them, okay? So all those extra little sections, don't throw them away, turn them into your eye pins. So same marker, mold it all the way around. You can help use your thumb for encouragement on these bits because they're, they're looser. Uh, pin straight into the main body, twist that backwards and you've got a new eye pin. Okay, so there you go. Right, now we'll go on to your wrapped loops. Little bit more intricate. Um, not not tricky, they are easy to do. Um, did you see there, I couldn't get the pin into the other side of the pearl. With these, they have a coating. A lot of the time, you just need to turn it round and try and put your pin in uh, the opposite direction and that will make it easier. Okay, so wrapped loops. What I'm gonna do is take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna leave a few millimeters above my pearl. So I am leaving that gap. I'm then going to turn the pin to 90 degrees and I'm going to take the wire up and over the top of my plier until I can't go any more. So I've gone uh, three quarters of the way around. Now I want to be able to finish this loop. So I'm going to take my plier and rotate it 180 degrees, which will allow me to now continue. You see how I opened up that hole down at the bottom so that I can now take the rest of my wire around the back. Okay. Now I've left a huge gap here, but this is so that I can show you very easily. Once I've made one, I'm gonna show you I would normally have a much smaller gap down here to wrap, but this is hopefully gonna make it clear for the video. Right, now I'm gonna take my uh, flat nose pliers, open that up and connect it in. When you're making a wrapped loop onto a closed connection, you need to make sure you connect it before you wrap it. Trust me, you get carried away and you do forget to connect them. And then you just end up with a little component. So I've opened it just like a jump ring and added that in. Take your, flat, uh, your round nose pliers and hold that loop where we have just connected it onto our earring. And then I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and I'm gonna take this wire and I'm going to wrap it around the pin, like so. So can you see I'm using my flat nose pliers, I'm rotating my hand and so that my wrist doesn't bend in an awkward direction, I'm letting go of it each time. Now this is an excessive amount of wrapping guys, but I'm hoping it's just gonna make it really nice and clear for you. I would normally only do two or three, 
okay so you've got a nice little one much bigger one over here but i just wanted it to be really nice and open we'll do a small one now take your flat nose pliers um no take your cutters cut in as near to the base as you can you can then use your pliers to just pinch in and flatten that little section that you've just cut off okay and that bead is never going to go anywhere um another eye pin uh, head pin man i cannot get my words out today i'm sorry guys you know what i mean don't you okay so just a couple of mil okay it's probably about the width of your pliers so can you see that bend it over you've got the width of your pliers go larger to begin with because it's going to make it easy bending round until you can't twist it anymore rotate that plier so that it will open it up and bring that in there's your loop with a little gap lift it up connect it on straight through the middle twisting that down just like with a jump ring and then you're going to take your round nose pliers trust me to leave the middle one for the finishing most awkward holding it with your round nose pliers flat nose pliers you're now just going to twist that wire so when i get to i'm going to lift you up a bit actually so that you can see my hand rotation holding it with your pliers so i'm taking a flat hand and to here then letting go rotating my hand because then by the time I get round here, my hand will be flat again. So turning your hand upside down and bringing it round and then upside down and bringing it round. I mean, I finished on this one. I've only done my two wraps. Cutting in nice and close, as near to it as you can go. Remember to always catch those extra shards because trust me, they will fly. I'll never forget, um, and if you followed me for a while, I'm sure you would have heard this story before, but my dad, when we were younger, so my, sis, my sister used to study jewellery design at um, Central St. Martin's in London. And she was using jump rings um, and she was doing chain mail, in fact. And um, she was snipping the ends off of these wires and my dad had bought a new TV, brand new TV. And as she's snipping them, it's going ping, flying across the room and it hits the TV smack bang in the middle of the screen. Nothing happened, but we're all kind of, <gasps> and I think, I think dad didn't see him. We managed to get away with it. Then she did it again and it hit the same place. Then she did it again. And then he found out and it hit the same place. Oh, it was hilarious. So be careful of those shards. Luckily the telly was fine as was my sister. She survived. Um, but make sure that you, um, protect yourself from them because they do fly off um okay guys if there is anything else that i can help you with please let me know before i leave you you've got your beautiful connectors your necklaces will go in exactly the same way i'm not sure if you just saw that bee fly right in front of my face <laughs> he's coming from the garden i'll save him in a second um can you hear him? He's huge. Um, beautiful necklace straight onto your chain. You can add all of those as well. Um, your lovely earrings, gorgeous connectors. Um, they are super easy to do. Practice your loops. I hope I've shown you a few tips to be able to um, perfect them and get them uh, looking fantastic. Um, can you swap your hands with mine for a week just so I can do this? Oh, Carol, if I could, I would, I promise. <laughs> um, if you have any problems, Carol, and, and you need um, a hand, I mean, not literally, um, but if I can help you with anything, uh, please do get in touch and I can... Um, Possibly, if you're, if you're a bit fingers and thumbs, um, I, can, I can suggest a few um, uh, changes in grasp for you and things like that. When I'm teaching and we do the workshops, it's always really interesting to see how people hold. The answer says save the bee. He actually, I'm not sure if you saw him, but he flew right behind and he's gone back out. So he's all good. Um, 
uh, it's really interesting to see how people hold their pliers um, because a lot of people um, are a little bit fingers and thumbs with them, you know, especially when turning loops and sometimes just that slight movement of your wrist or a change in um, direction uh, will make a big difference. So if you are struggling, please do get in touch. Maybe um, we can do a little video between us so I can actually see how you're doing it. Um, she'll watch this a million times, says Leanne. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Sarah Has as this is different to what I have made. Oh, fantastic, I hope that really helps. Question, what can I cover the earring loop in so I can wear them as I cannot wear costume jewellery earrings? What could you cover the loop in? Um, I would suggest, now I don't think Totally Beads have it, but you could maybe have a look at a jewellery shield. Jewellery Shield is um, a little thing, um, it's almost like a clear nail polish um, in its appearance and in the, the bottle and the jar. Um, normally it will prevent things from tarnishing, so you can uh, rub it over, allow it to dry and then it will... Um, Oh yeah, uh, Kitty's just saying this thing called Jewelry Shield. Um, there you go then, it came from both of us and we weren't even talking, so that's the one to go for. Um, that will cover your components and prevent them from tarnishing. It also gives you that extra layer, um, just super, super, super coat it in um, and you should be absolutely fine. Um, someone was just asking how they can get in touch with me, uh, Jitty. So you can either send a message on the Totally Beads Facebook page or I have my own Facebook page. It's Sarah Millsop. Um, so it's Sarah with an H, um, M I L L. -L S O P. Um, if you pop over, you can go onto my Facebook page and you can message me. I do see the Totally Beads ones as well, but um, obviously, as does everybody else in the Totally Beads admin group. So. Um, I don't always keep an eye on them because I know they're they're very active with them. Um, so if you hop over to my page, um, you can you can message me on there and I will get back to you. Um, not straight away today because I've got a day of filming today um, and then I need to drive back home to Lincolnshire. But I will endeavour to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, guys, I'm with you tomorrow as well. Tomorrow we are using snowflake uh, spaces. Um, not as festive as you think. Uh, snowflake uh, shaped spaces, also known as starbursts. I'm going to be using those tomorrow and we will be uh, uh, making lots of nice bracelets. Um, cover the loop with nail varnish, clear nail varnish, someone's saying. Also works on cheap cheap shop jewellery. Oh, there you go then. Um, hopefully that will sort you out, Pamela, and you will be able to make things. Kitty has put the link up for today. Um, that will be... <laughs> Amazing. Anne says, oh, Sarah, I once emailed you as Millstrop. I am occasionally, Anne. Bit stroppy. <laughs> um, someone actually called me that on air once as well, Millstrop. Uh, so it's Millsop, M-I-L-L-S-O-P. <laughs> um, if any of you have any questions then let me know um, love to you all guys I will see you tomorrow morning have um, a really good rest of the day Mama Millsop's back come say hi mum you all talk to her yeah because I've done your hair this morning so oh, you're true. looking looking good here's <laughs> mummy Millsop morning hello so for all of you who always talk to her during the videos you can put a face to the name. Oh, and little man wants in oh, as well. I should have left them guessing. <laughs> no. Thank you all so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, ladies. Take care. Bye.